Hey everyone, this is Prince from Desi Programmer. Welcome back to another exciting video in this Node.js MongoDB Express series. And in this video, we are going to extend our simple authentication project that we coded in the last video. And we are going to add a couple of features and options such as verifying the user's account and setting resetting password securely. So as you can see, this is the code that we had in the last video. I haven't changed anything from the repo. And now if I open this in my command prompt, then uh, all that I have to do is to use npm start and then this will start my server. And okay, this has a little issue. I have to basically set up my um, Mongo URI. Once you have replaced your Mongo URI, since I just downloaded the repository from that particular commit, now you can, as you can see, my server is connected. So if I use my um, browser and here, if I go back to um, localhost colon 8000 as you can see this is the project that we had earlier now let's uh, start doing a couple of things and let's uh, start adding a couple of things in this project so first of all if you go to login okay and if i try to access any authenticated route so let's say if i try to go to profile which we know was an authenticated route then you will see that we simply go back to our home screen so as per our code in my a controller slash routes.js you can see that if the request is not authenticated i'm simply redirecting to home route we are not doing anything else right here so what i want to do is that i want to redirect to login route as our login route has a form and i also want to show a flash message right here so for that we have to configure our flash messages and here we already had we already have a single flash message which is error so basically this flash message is for showing flash errors from our passport.js library so I will create my own custom flash messages and I will create two of them because I want to use bootstrap um, alert and bootstraps alert has different classes for warning and success. That's why. So first of all, I have an error underscore message. So this is my custom flash for showing error message and this is my custom flash for showing success message. Now I just want to do a simple demonstration because later you can make the code a lot better by adding more flashes. So I have to say request dot um flash not failure flash and here we have to pass the key which is um error underscore message and then the value which is um please login to continue now once i save this i have to go to my index dot eg sorry login dot egs file and here just the way as we were showing error I have to simply copy and paste this and I have to make sure that I change this particular error with my own error message. So now this will be um, error underscore message. Now if I save this, now if you go back to our browser and here if I uh, try to access any authenticated route which is slash profile, then now I get this error flash which says hey please log in to continue. So this uh, makes the code a lot better. So now people will know that okay we have to log in to continue to our authenticated route. Now let's uh, go, let's see in our authenticated route, if you go to routes to JS, then you can see that in my profile route, I'm simply rendering the username. But I also want to render the verified situation of the user. So we have a key which is verified. I simply want to send request dot user dot is verified. And this is verified. We are grabbing this from this user model. As you can see, this is verified is a Boolean value. So this will send either true or false. Now remember that when we were handling Google authentication, we have made sure that anyone who logs in using Google is automatically verified. Only those people who use a local account, which is basically username and password or email password, they are not verified. Makes sense. So now we have to render this message in my profile.egs. So I will go to my profile.egs file and here, as you can see, uh, we already have simple stuff there's nothing uh, very entertaining let's go back to a login.egs let's copy any of this alert message and here we'll simply paste it now here we have to change this to um verified ve okay first of all here our message is going to be static okay because since we are going to we are only sending if and else i will send i will put my own static message right here which will be um please verify your Account. and then um, I have a single a tag and a link and this will say re send verification email okay and okay so now all that I have to do now this will we will later uh, put the URL right here 
here first of all i have to make sure that i'm doing this part correctly so i have to first check that if the variable exists because multiple times i'll be rendering this profile page and sometimes if that's not necessary i may miss so i'm saying if type of verified is not equal to undefined a good way of writing code so that we are making cross checks and this comes right here let me erase this let me simply copy this and then here i have to use templating tags so these are my ending templating tags and then these are my starting templating tags then here instead of checking is uh, empties or not all that i have to check that if not verified so if the value of verified is true that means user is verified we don't have to do anything but if the value of verified is false that means user is not verified so so this particular flash message so now if we save this and if we go back to our browser again if we simply try to log in a user any old account that i have created friends at gmail.com and password will be one two three four five six so now basically you can see that we have your profile and this uh, which says send a verification email let me just put this below your uh, sorry above your profile and come on jed and since it's above i have to give some spacing because if i don't do that as you can see there will be a little problem it will be attached to it so for that i have to make sure that i give it a um mt3 which means margin on top of three values whatever bootstrap defines so now this is our simple error message that says hey we have sent you a verification email you can simply send uh, you can simply click on recent verification email now to make sure that we code these stuffs like uh, uh, resending verification email verifying the verification email sending user uh, password reset email and then verifying the user password reset email i'm going to create an, another file so as you can see in my controller i'll create a file named as user routes okay basically what this means is that anything that's specific to a single user i'll be putting everything in this particular route and this particular route is again going to uh, be just like uh, be just like a router this is just going to have this is this is just an internal router uh, from my own router too basically from this particular router we will call this router too i can go here i can basically copy this everything okay because uh, most of them i'll be needing there so if i go to user routes.js i don't need this passport okay uh, i don't need bcrypt.js okay i will need bcrypt.js too actually i will need user too and i will need a router too so once this is done i will leave the router as it is i will simply say module dot exports is equal to this particular router and now this router can make calls so i can say router dot get and everything is going to come from a slash user so slash user and then we have a slash send um verification dash email and once this is there now we have our basic request and response and i'm going to use asynchronous methods right here instead of callback we're going to use promises so this is our async function and here we have now user password doesn't uh, obviously doesn't have to do anything with user authentication that means if you that means if you ever come to this particular website and let's say you want to send a verification email that means you have to be authenticated okay that it's not a good practice to give user an option to input their email and then they can send verification email so this has to be authenticated but later we will see that uh, password reset that it doesn't need a user login i mean why would you want to reset your password when you're already logged in that is a different thing which is called change password anyway so now if i go back to my code again and here i have to put my router which says authenticated now to do make things better i can obviously code another file let's say middlewares.js and that file will have all my middlewares that i need but right now i'm going to keep these things simple i may update it in the repo i'll simply paste this check auth here too and then even here we are going to call this check auth so this will basically make sure that if someone is trying to do some mischief and trying to call this thing then we will simply send them back to the route and we'll say hey you have to log in to continue now once we are done here we have to check a couple of things so user verification is going to work for this particular application so if anyone is from google i'm assuming that they're already verified and if anyone is already verified i don't have to send them a verification email right all that i have to say is that if request dot user dot is verified so if this value is true that means user is verified so there's no use sending the email right 
which again means uh, someone is either doing a mischief or there might be a little bug or an error or if the request dot user dot provider and this is equal to google because remember we are even saving who the authentic who is providing the authentication and these are the situations where that's very necessary so if this is the case that means someone is trying to do some mischief and since we are able to access the request dot user and since this this route is getting executed that means user is already authenticated so i will simply say rest dot um redirect so redirect the user to slash um profile okay but in our else condition where we have to actually send a verification email okay basically you have to send the user a verification email and then user can verify so what we are actually going to do here is that we are going to generate a token gen a token a strong token and we are going to send an email with this particular token so it will be a url whenever the user clicks on that url they will be basically verifying that so our app will verify the token if the token is available we are good to go so first thing that we have to do is to make sure that we create a strong token so for that i'm going to use the crypto library which is here for us by default so const crypto is equal to uh, require and then we have crypto once we have this i have to say is all that i need is um, a token so var token is equal to um crypto dot gen random bytes r a n d o m bytes come on g e n r a n d o why is this not working a crypto sorry not generate random bytes we have random bytes and then i want 32 okay 32 is the number that i want and then i want to change this to a string and here our encoding will be hex okay so this will send us a token i'm simply logging this in so that you can see okay console.log this particular token and once we have this token we can send this token to um the user so we can use this token to send uh, an email to the user right now i'm simply going to uh, put this token okay we will handle that later right now let's just say rest dot um redirect to slash profile and then save this let's go back to our browser again let's refresh as of as you can see authentication is now gone basically whenever your server restarts the authentication will be gone the token will be deleted you have to use something uh, which can actually persist your token which we are not doing in this case so we will leave that up to here we will use prince at gmail.com and our password will be one two three four five and six login by the way don't try one two three four five six i don't use this as my password now as you can see this is what we have okay okay we have made a small mistake again we have to go to profile.egs and we have to make sure that we are calling this particular route so i will simply first call copy this from my profile.egs as you can see here i have to put this in the href and i have to go back to my routes and i have to make sure that i'm, I'm including this particular route too so here i have to say um router and just as we did there from our in our index.egs we have to say um, router dot use so router dot use and we are going to use something which comes from require okay and this is going to come from dot slash from the same directory we have something known as user routes now that i save this again now uh, my authentication will be gone so i have to again uh, log in i know i know so once i click on login so now as you can see we, i have this if i click on i'm um, recent verification email so nothing happens obviously since we're redirecting but uh, okay why i'm not printing a token recent verification email come on well the reason why this wasn't working is because i made a small mistake i made a change so in my database i changed the provider to google so i have to basically set this back to email once i update the document now i think um okay since even if i read the document it's not going to work basically so i have to close this restart the server go back to authentication then again put the email and password now if i click on login now if i click on recent verification email as you can see we have this simple token so basically this is a token which we have generated and now uh generating the same token is actually very tough right so if so there is no security flaw here if you are sending this token to a user then it's very unlikely possible that anyone can generate a token and then it can match the same i mean people always tell me hey why why are, not, why are you not using otp system like why don't send six numbers and then people can enter them so even generating six number is hard but this is 
very hard like more harder than that basically so and you can use you can generate 64 32 some people use only 16 that's completely up to you i don't use as less as 16 or even as high as 64 i'm simply putting up 32 something that's in between so now that i have to do is to send this token and also have to verify this token so here first of all i have to do something like send email so for that i'm going to use node mailer so first of all i my controllers i'll create a, a file okay i will name this as send mail dot js and this will contain all the code that i had used for sending emails but before that let's close this let's say um npm i node mailer and i will be using node mailer for sending emails although technically here i won't be sending any email because that just a lot of work you know putting up an email then sending and all still i will uh, write all the code and i will tell you what I, what everything is necessary so first of all we have node mailer is equal to require node mailer okay next thing that you need is a transport which basically is a way of saying that this is something that we are using to send email so i'm saying transport is equal to and this is going to come from node mailer dot create transport now remember here when i talk about transport you will have multiple options of sending emails so if you're using basic cpanel email accounts then you will get options to create smtp and then you can send from that node mailer has an option for that too or if you are simply trying to use Gmail and all to send email, well, NodeMailer has an option for that too. Or if you're trying to use APIs for send email, like if you create something from SendGrid, then Node, uh, NodeMailer will have an option for that too. Or if you're trying to use AWS SNS services and all, then NodeMailer has an option for that too. So basically, NodeMailer has an option for everything. Which is why uh, I'm going to use this. Now here, I have to put up a service. So the service that I'm going to use here is actually Gmail okay and then i need auth i have to say auth and our auth is going to be simple username and password now when you do something like this okay like something like user at uh, gmail.com here and then you will enter your password basically so this will be your password one two three four five six whatever it is so this is how you create a transport for uh, sending emails via gmail account and if you're using smtp you have to put smtp or smtp's name port and then again auth so once you have done this you have to make sure that you have selected the option for less secure apps which i think is available right here as you can see if i go there so as you can see if i go to this particular account which is uh, sorry url which is my account.google.com slash this is basically user a less secure apps you get this option that says that hey your uh, less secure access is off which is off by default but if you want to use node mailer to directly send an email and password using your you know google account username and password then you have to turn this on or you can go through the long way and then you can go to uh, google's console developers console basically and then you can get a token from there which will be used to send um emails so which is why i'm going to ignore this because either i will have to open less secure apps or i will have to because this you won't be using in production so there is no use of saying this and uh, that different method that actually for fest and most of the time people use smtp or some uh, um, notification service still i will simply write the code which we need so you have to say module.export dot send email so let's say that i have to send reset email to i'm writing this code so that you don't have to face any issue if you are actually going to use this okay so here you will get the email and the token so basically the email of the user whom you want to send the email and the token which you want to send in the email and here what we have to do is that we have to first generate our url i will simply name this as what url and once you have your domain you will obviously need to do something from your domain but until unless you have a domain you have to use localhost so i'm saying http colon double slash localhost um colon 8000 and then to verify reset email okay we'll do this later okay right now i have to actually care about module dot exports dot send uh, verify email you can call this function from anywhere uh, either either when the user is logging in or whenever you send this you can just simply call this function and this function will handle everything so first we need the var url which is going to obviously come from http colon double slash local post colon 8000 this is the port that we're using slash user okay slash um verify email so basically when we send an email we are sending a different route because in this route we will write code to check whether 
the token is correct or not so in the verify email i have to put question mark token and this is going to be equal to the same token sorry plus token okay so now we are sending our token as a query parameter now i have to say await our transport dot send mail and then here we have a couple of options for sending our email so first of all we have from which is your email okay from where you want to send the email which was basically the email that we just put here user at gmail.com and this would be a string let me make sure that this is a string then we have two which will be the email where you want to send the email so this is the user email where you want to send the email then you have a subject so right now i'm simply putting up a subject as a string which is uh, verify your account right and the next thing that we need is a text so this will be sent if the user can't see html version of the email so here everything is going to be simple i'm going to use a say um, click this link to verify and the link is going to be coming from this dollar and the link is basically the url that we are sending pretty simple and if the user can see html then we have html2 so html is going to come from again we have some tag so in the h3 tag i'm going to say the same thing right okay i'm not going to make it any complicated at all just simply copy this they are the same stuff but only it will be visible in html it will be h3 so it will be a bit bold and just that's it this is our code for sending an email as simple as it sounds but what i'm going to do instead is that whenever somebody calls this okay i'm not going to call this because this obviously will give me an error so instead of calling this i'm going to simply log this uh, url so that we can copy this and we can use this so sorry console dot log url but again just i'm telling you that it is guaranteed this code works there is no issue all that you have to do is to put your email right here your password right here and then you have to go back and then go to myaccount.google.com slash less secure apps and click turn that option on and you'll be good to go but again you will be using this like you won't be using this at all rarely you will use this only if it's your personal application you might want to do something as this so once we have done this let's see what our progress as you can as you can see okay nothing much is happening here right i think there's some issue in our code we have to start the server again but before we do that let's talk about the logic right we are generating a token and we are sending it to user and now if user clicks on this link we have to make sure that we verify the token so how do we know whether this is the same token that we generated and if this is the token then we have to verify this token for which particular user because remember once user clicks on this it's not guaranteed that they are using the same system from where they generated a token so someone might be working on their laptop and then they click on verification email they got the email in their phone and now they are trying to open this in their phone and we have to make sure that the verification completes even there so for that what we do is that we create an another a uh, model where we save all these tokens so in my models directory as you can see we have user.js now i'm going to put um reset tokens.js i'm not simply putting tokens because i just want to make it reset tokens looks good so here first of all as always i need mongoose which is going to come from require uh, mongoose not mongodb mongoose and then i need a schema so my schema name will be let's say reset um, tokens and this is going to be a new mongoose dot schema and here this reset token will be deleted automatically that's what we are going to implement here so first of all we are going to have a token okay so the token will be of type come on a string and then it's required okay so i'm saying required is always set to true so if you want to create a token our uh, token is always necessary we also have an email that's necessary so that we can basically check for which particular user this is being um, requested so the type will be string and the value of required will be always set to true having done that the last but not the least thing that we want is to expire at and what this does is that this makes sure that uh, we expire this okay so i'm going to simply use expire sorry expire 
at and then this is going to be of a type which is date the default value will be d e f a u l t the default value will be date dot now and then i am saying expires which will be here in second so i am saying 600 so basically in 600 seconds this token will automatically expire and remember here what i want to say is that expire this in 600 second which means expire this token in 10 minutes right but remember that the ttl actually runs every 60 seconds so the background thread which does this runs at every 60 second so it's not guaranteed that this will be automatically deleted at 10 minutes itself but this one minute gap in something that we can ignore i mean okay let's say that this doesn't delete at 10 minutes then it will be automatically deleted at 11 minutes and it's not an issue i mean let's say that some people just uh, we have we are already doing any everything uh, in the best secure manner so it won't be an issue even if it's a bit if it's a minute late now we have um, module dot exports and then i have to say mongoose dot model and my model name will be um reset tokens so reset t-o-k-e-s tokens and then the schema is obviously something that we just created right here now if you save this we have another model up and running which will basically store our tokens so once we have these models up and running all that i have to do is that i have to go to my user routes again and here instead of uh, redirecting the user and logging of the token first of all i have to save this token to my database right so i'm saying await and then i'm going to first uh, require this so just as we have user this is going to be reset token this is going to come from model slash reset tokens okay now i'm saying await because we're using async await and all this will be good good there i'm saying reset tokens and um, right here let's put our data so the token will be this token then we need email which will basically come from request dot user dot email and we don't need anything right to data that we need expire will be set automatically we have to call save method on this and now we are good to go next thing is that we have to send email to right so we have to first um, we need mailer to i will say const and let's name this as mailer because this will help us with sending emails and i'm saying require um, dot slash send mail having done that i'll simply go here and i will say mailer dot send mail remember i'm not using send verify email remember here i'm not using a uh, wait because i want this to be just done i don't wait i don't want to wait for this to be completed so request dot user dot email because we have to send an email and a token so this is our email this is a token that we just generated and saved we are sending this and once this is done i'm saying rest dot render i again want to render my profile dot ejs file but this time we have a lot more options so just as always we need our username as we have been doing earlier so we have request dot user dot username the next thing that we need is the verified parameter even if you miss here it won't be an issue because we have checked it using type undefined and all still i just want to send it request dot user dot is verified okay the next thing that i want to send here is a value which will be email sent and i will set this to true so basically i want to tell the user that hey we have sent an email so remember this email sent value okay let's uh, copy this let's go to profile.ejs and here we have this um alert right i'm simply going to copy and paste this alert now instead of checking the value of verified okay i'm going to check this value of email sent and i want this to be true so if email sent if the value is true so some uh, so some alert so if not a danger it's a success and uh, i don't need a, a sorry a margin here this should be success and here instead of saying please verify your account and all i'm simply saying um verification email sent successfully and assuming that all my spellings are correct i will simply save this i'll go back to my browser okay first make sure that server is up and running there are no issues if i go to profile obviously i have to log in first we will do that in a matter of seconds let's click on login 
Now I have to click on resend verification email and as soon as I do we get this message that says success verification email, email sent successfully and here as you can see we have this token which is being logged in okay right I'll simply copy this token and I'll just paste it and I will wait I will just uh, uh, will make a request later on we have to first make sure that we have an option to verify this token right so as of now I'm simply sending a token now I have to code a route for verifying the token I have to simply say router dot get and uh, remember the route was user slash verify email right I think it was the same yeah verify with a capital E not a small e it doesn't matter whatever it is uh, slash verify email this again is going to be async which will take request and response I'm not going to use the authenticated middleware right here because just as I said it's not necessary that the user who is clicking on this link has to be authenticated I don't want it if you want you can simply call this middleware and you'll be good to go but most of the time this is not the way of doing it okay the next thing that we need is that we have to grab the token so let's say const um token is equal to it's going to come from query so request dot query dot token because the key is token now we have to make sure that the token is available right because this if that's not available that is an issue so just want to check if the token is available or not if the token is not available now remember in these conditions when i'm saying that hey a token is not available that means someone is trying to do some mischief or they made an error so instead of showing errors and all i just want to simply redirect to profile okay so rest dot redirect slash profile but if the token is available all that i have to do is to verify whether this is the same token that we sent and whether this token has expired or not so we have some uh, variable named check so i'm saying var check and this variable is going to check if this is the token that we sent so we have to do reset token dot uh, find one we have to find one token where the token matches this particular token that we just grabbed from our query so once this is executed we have to check if we have some data or not and again i'm not doing a lot of uh, error handling here so if the check is true or the check is false so if the check is true that means we actually got a result the query executed successfully and there is some token else that means we don't have any token at such so if we don't have any token at such all that we have to do is to render some error so i'll simply copy this line i'll put it here and as you can see we we need everything we need username we need verified the email sent part we don't need it here instead we need an error so i will put a key as error and i will put some value here so let's say invalid token or token expired so expired ex yeah having done that all that i will do is that i'll go to my profile or tgs just as i have this again i have to copy and paste this instead of putting email sent and email sent i need to check the value of error and if this is available this is going to be error this is going to be danger and this is going to be whatever the error message which i'm sending because later you will see that we'll be sent we will be sending other error messages too so is equal to error if we save this now we are good to go now we'll be rendering this error in our profile or tgs but even if the token is found we have to make sure that we verify sorry now if the token is found we have to make sure that we set the verified property of that particular user to true we save this and then we redirect so all that i have to do is to save our users data so this is the data that we are going to grab so this will come from await user the model that we already had earlier and it did not erase now we are going to use it and i have to say user dot find one again we have to find one user and i want to find someone with the same email and this email we are going to get from this data right so if the check is true that means we have an email from check dot email because we were saving an email to my reset token so now this email i have to grab one user which has this email and once i have done that i have to tell that take that user and the user has a property of is verified set that to true and then save the user again so await user data dot save okay wait i should have used something like find one and update right yeah okay anyway 
once this is done okay once this is done uh i'm simply going to i'm simply going to delete the token because since this token is used now i don't want to wait for this to be deleted i'm showing reset token dot find one and delete and uh, we have come on then we have this query so we are have to set this a token which should match this particular token so now this token is getting deleted too and having done that i will simply redirect to profile so res dot redirect slash profile let's save this now let's go back to our browser before we run that let's see if we have something changed here or not okay let's refresh as you can see now we have this another collection which is reset tokens and let's hope that the document loads and this is the token that we have here right this has an email this is the token which is which comes from here so if my server is running successfully so if i click on this this would basically verify me right if i hit enter okay this says that i have to log in again why why do i need to log in again oh, oh sorry i'm i'm redirecting to profile which is why it's asking me to log in again if you go here if you check the users let's see if it has verified me or not so now as you can see okay the value for this is set to true let's let me put this to false i want to show the entire process at once okay let's update this okay let's close this let's go to authentication let's click on this let's um login so gmail.com by the way this was also a demonstration that even if you're not logged in this will verify your email right but let's see this process in one co continuous go then we simply click on recent verification email which was hey email uh, verification email sent successfully then we can go here we can copy this particular url then we can paste this in our browser and this will redirect me to my profile and now as you can see here we don't get this um prompt basically alert that says verify your email which means our email verification is now successful so we have handled one thing which was to verify users email right now let's uh, see the next part which is to verify uh, which is to send a reset password and then to reset password accordingly so for that again i need two routes one route for uh, sending and this next route for um, verifying the token and then another route for resetting the password dude that's literally wrong task okay so first of all i have to i need one route which will basically give the user a way to enter his or her email so i have a router dot get with slash user slash forget dash password and what this does is that it takes a request and a response the process is asynchronous and here okay, even if i want to use async it will be completely okay because all that i have to do is to render a page and i want to render a page where user can basically run, uh, put their email so what we, what's basically happening here is that if you go to if you log out if you go to login here i'm going to put an option that says um a reset forgot your password reset now something like such something as such i don't need this value All that i have to say here is that um forgot password okay and then this is going to come from slash user slash forgot password and when user clicks on this we are going to use a routes we are going to call this route this route will render a page where they can simply um put their email so in my views directory i'm creating another route uh, sorry page view i would call this as forgot password dot egs okay so here again let me simply uh, set this route up I simply copy the code from my login dot egs okay i'm not going to do a lot of changes here i'll remove this entire stuff as i don't need it right now i'll change this to reset your password here i need uh, the action to be sorry i don't want this action basically method will be post i'm good to go i'll set the action to user slash forgot password i need this token great i want this email i don't need this password option here and then i don't need this button here also i don't have to okay i actually i need that i just don't need this continue with google button here i don't need these two buttons here so if i save this now if 
I go back to my browser, if we refresh, then we have this forgot password. If I click on this, do we have an error? Okay, we are not writing the code to actually render it, right? It's still empty. I have to say, I have to write code to say rest dot render forgot password. And since we are going to handle CSRF, we have added CSRF token too. I have to say CSRF token will come from request dot CSRF token. I think the key is correct, right? Yep. Great. Let's save this. Let's go back. Let's refresh now. And you can see we get this option which says reset your password, enter your email. And then I have to change this to uh, from login. This will say send reset link. Yeah, link. Great. Send reset link. This will be success. Great. So this is all that we have right now. You can enter your email and then you can click on send recent link. And this will send you an option to basically reset your password. Now we have to go back to my um, account routes. Okay. So account routes, where it is, user routes, not account routes. You can name this whatever you want. Having done that, now we have to handle the post request which user will make after um sending the after enter, entering their email. In the post request, I have to say router dot post then slash user slash um, forgot dash password. By the way, I'm putting this user every time. Instead, you you could have gone to routes and here I could have said, said something like router dot use slash user and then this it would have worked right there too. But now that I've done this, let's put it as it is. Let's leave it as it is. Okay. This is going to be asynchronous. I'm pretty sure because I have to do a lot of operations right here. And then here our process is again simple. First of all, we have to check if the users user is provided from Google or not, because if the user has logged in using using Google, we can't reset the password, right? He or she needs to reset their Google password. So first of all, we will simply grab the email. I'll simply use the structuring. We'll grab the email and this will come from request dot body. Once we have done that, we have to check the user. So I can say something like var user data. This data is going to come from again await user dot find one. And here we have to find a user who has the same email. Again, I'm not checking if the email is empty or not. I'm not checking if the email is, is a valid email or not. That's completely up to you. What I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to send an email or a link using which you can implement password reset. Once we get this user data, if we get a user data, which means if it's valid, if the email is valid, else we won't get any user data. So if we don't get any user data, we can simply send a message, right? So I can do something like this. I can simply copy this in our else I'm saying render this page. Then uh, with a CSRF token, here we have a message which will be an error. So let's say no user found. Okay, great. Not for you and And then I'm actually going to put a type two because I want to show whether it's an error or a success message. So I'm going to put danger. So danger is basically this is the a class that we use we use alert slash danger in bootstrap that's why i'm putting danger okay there's nothing as such this is the base region why i'm doing so but if there is a user data what if there is a user data we have to check the user's provider is not google so if the user data dot provider is equal to google that means we again have to say that dude you are trying the wrong thing this is not possible so let's copy this. Let's grab one, put it here. I'm saying if the provider is Google, render this page again. We have a CSRF token. We have a message, and the message will be um, you need to reset your Google accounts password. I will I will basically add this messages and add better messages. This too will be of type danger because again, this too is an error, right? But if the user is not from Google, what if that's the case? Then we have to again generate a token and then send the token. Uh, pretty simple, right? So here, as you can see, where it is generating a token and then saving the token. Two great things that we have to do. Done. 
so once we have generated a token once we have saved the token now we have to actually send an email right so in my send email.js you can see we have a send reset email and how do you want to verify again completely up to us i want to put slash user slash reset as password so that was forget password and this means reset password so we have a token which will be this particular token and then the same code to basically send an email okay i will uh, change that in repo but instead of sending an email i'm simply logging in the url okay paste once we have done this now we can go back to our user routes and uh, having done this we can basically tell the user that hey we have sent an email you can now check your email and all so i'll simply copy this again and then here after doing this everything after even calling mailer dot send reset email with this email and this token that we just generated i'm saying we have a message and the message will be as simple as reset link sent sent and the type will be now success so no danger okay having done this all that i have to go is that i need to go to my password router.js this route is set post and everything is everything looks pretty good right yeah looks pretty good only thing that i have to uh, set up right here is my error message right so i'll simply copy this from uh, any place okay let's let me go and grab this we go to uh, some place where we have type of used in my profile at EJS, we have this okay makes sense let's go to copy because it's not necessary that we will always render this while verifying we will have different errors so if type of error is not equal to undefined i have to change all this error with message because as you can see we are rendering with a key of message then we have a type 2 so instead of putting up alert danger i'll put a type so every time we are rendering a message we have to make sure that we render a type 2 so now we have a type okay and this will be what do you have to put here okay i won't put anything okay let's remove this entire part now this looks great and go back to my browser i can refresh i can put any email right let's say friends to at gmail.com click on reset link it says hey new no user found x uh, looks good in the same way if i put uh, prince at gmail.com and if i change this to google it will work let me show you yes let me show you google update let's uh come on rephrase and let's put the email so prince at gmail.com it's a hey you need to reset your google accounts password i hope everything is correct the spelling is correct right but since it's an email account uh we have to say email update good authentication and then here now if somebody enters prince at gmail.com and if i click on send reset link why it's not working they're not working cannot read property email of undefined what's the problem okay uh, user route 6966 user route 69 sorry user routes um 69 and 6 okay sorry i just copied the code right this has to be direct email or request.query.email having done this now i can say friends at gmail.com sent reset link and it says reset link said if i go back to the terminal you can see that now we have this particular link but this link still is not useful because we don't have a route for verifying this all that we have to do is to create a round for route for verifying this token and once the verification is done we need to render a form where user can enter their new passwords right so first of all we need a get route because here we are going to get this entire thing from a get so just as we had this verify email route we need a get route for that verification too i'll try to copy the code as, as much as i can right i'll simply copy this user says verify email and then here i'm going to say it's not verify email it's basically reset dash password okay then again we are going to get a token that's completely okay so if there is token okay if there is no token i'm so simply sending the user back to profile let's send to login because user is not logged in anyway there's no use of sending back to profile if there, we have a token we have to check if the token exists in the database or not so if the check is true that means if the token exists 
I have to render my forgotten EJS page instead of doing everything because I have to render a form. But what if the to token is not correct? Well, in that case, I have to render forgot task password dot EGS. And here I have to render this. Let me simply copy this, right? It will make much sense. Forgot password EGS. I have to render the CSRF token too. Then I have to render the message and the type just as we have been doing. Okay. So this will be a token tampered or expired. It could be anything. Okay. By the way, say why expired. Right. Okay. Why expired? I'm saying if there is not. Okay. So if if this check is incorrect, I'm not going to do more check whether it's tampered or expired. I'm simply saying that whether it's expired or it's tampered anything could be true but anyway in this case if we have a check then we have to render this page again okay so i'm saying rest dot render this page again but in this case we again need a csrf token but i don't need this message and all now all that i can do is that i can send a key which says that okay now you are allowed to show a form and when this key is sent then we can basically change this entire form instead of showing this particular form i can show some other form and since it's server side rendering will be good to go so i can say that the reset is now set to true okay yeah great and uh, i can go back to my forgot password dot egs and here as you can see we have this entire data right so this form this form that we have right here it won't be rendered this form uh, again with this error message it won't be shown if the re if there is no reset since we are not rendering this reset every time we don't have an option to check if the value of reset is true or false right so we have to just check if the resets value is available or not so i'm basically saying if type of reset is not equal to undefined so if type of reset is not equal to undefined if this is undefined what if this is undefined else if this is undefined simply render this entire form that we have so let's cut this okay and let me simply copy this templating tag and i'm putting it at the end of this form so this is my else case okay let me go to templating tags so if we will have the resets value that means we have to simply render the page if we don't have the resets value we don't have we have if we have the resets value we have to render the option to change password if we don't have a reset value we have to render an option to show an email so once i have set the reset to true i have to use a form okay i can simply copy this form and paste it here and now i this should be changed back to reset password method will be post we have csrf token instead of a email i need here a password I can even say new password it will look better i'll change this username to password i'll change the type to password i'll change the name to password i can put another field right for verifying the password yes i okay, i'll do that in code right now i'm not going to check if two passwords match same or not i will put that in repo i'll put that in code that will be great but we still have an issue since user is not logged in we still want an email so that we will know whose password we have to reset once we have this reset value true we also have to set an email right which will come from check dot email so once we are sending this email value i have to go to forget password dot egs and here i need an input with a type of hidden the name will be email and the value will also come from email okay so templating tags is equal to and an email now we have something that looks great and here i will simply change this to um yep reset password great reset password now let's go back let's put that code oh come on is that tampered not where was that it was here i don't think that this is deleted yet it hasn't been 10 minutes so if i repeat this we get an error which says the above error is not well full yes okay now let me check where the error is we have the error at we have the error in this space okay so we have this else but okay we need an if to come on 
why am i forgetting this templating tags having done that now if i go the browser now if i click on this link now we have a reset the password and you can see we have this new password although i just forgot to change check okay man change this to password great now if i go back to my browser I refresh now we have an option to reset your password you can put your password and this will uh, clicking on this reset password should reset the password what this means is that this token is now valid it is if you go to reset tokens you can see that we sent a token and this is a valid token so we can use this particular token to reset a password but we still need code for taking this password encrypting this and then saving it back to the database so i will again go back to user routes and it's been an hour i've been recording this tutorial since an hour okay that's that's why these things take a lot of time man so once i have this get route i also need a post route here so i will say router dot post i have to say user slash reset slash password it will be an asynchronous operation we will take request we will take response and then here we are going to manipulate a lot of stuff once having having done this now if you are getting a request to this particular route it means that somebody has uh, sent a new password so we have to first grab the new password i'll say const password and i also have to grab the email this will come from request dot body now in the repo that you see i will be using password one and password two password two also so password two will basically help us with verifying if the two passwords are same or not let's do that too okay let's do that too let's do that too copy this division down and i will say um verify password you can change this okay the name will be to, uh, password 2 password again yeah looks great let's go back to browser let's click on this now we have new password verify password reset password great 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 let's not leave anything and now i have password 2 also so if there is no password we don't do we won't do anything if there is no password 2 we won't do anything or if both of them don't match so if password is not equal to password 2 in all these cases if any of these is true not all if any of these is true we want to simply um say show some error okay we will do the same thing that we have been doing okay we have been sending a message we have been sending a type but here uh, we have to make sure that we put the value of reset also to true okay so here as you can see i will simply copy this okay i will go here and so this is something that we have to send but we have to, to make sure that we have two more values set here the first value that we need to set is the value of reset so the value of reset will be set to true this sounds very interesting reset will be set to true and then we will have to set the value of email and we will set the same value that we are grabbing from the body so if any of this is true just render this error if this is not true which means we have a, a better data so we have to uh, generate a salt has the password save this to database and then redirect the user back to login so i'm saying var salt this will come on Salt and this will come from await and this is why I did not uh, remove the bcrypt js so bcrypt js dot gen salt then the length will be 12 and then here we need to generate hash so var hash is equal to I'm not I'm, I'm assuming that this is going to work perfect okay I'm not going to check errors and all we will do that later most probably I'm saying await bcrypt js dot hash and we have to hash the value of password you can use any of them password to or pass it won't be an issue and we have to provide a salt to provide a salt and then we will get a hash so now i have to say await user dot find one and i have to update a user so first of all we need the query so the query sorry so the query will be that this email should match so if we have a user we have the same which has the same email then now we have to set a value and the value which we want to set is that set the value of password to this hash great and once we do that i'm saying rest dot redirect to slash login 
Now, just as I have been saying from infinity time that my password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, here I'm going to change. Okay, token expired. Did we just, did we just, did we just pass 10 minutes? Really? Great. This is a demonstration that our code of expire is working perfectly. Anyway, so I have to do this again. That, that's not an issue. I will simply say, okay, this will again give me CSR token expired if I continue. Yeah, I knew it. So I have to say prints at gmail.com send reset link. And then if I go back to my terminal, now I will have a new link. No, I don't. Okay, I have this new link here. I can copy this link. And now if I paste this new link, then now we get this option. And earlier my password was 123456. Now I'm going to choose a very strong password, which will be password itself. P A S S W O R D. By the way, don't use these passwords. These are not strong at all. I'll click on recent password. And since I am redirected to login, that means my reset password was successful. And to demonstrate that, I can do something like prince at gmail.com. Sorry, not one. I'm using one. So only prints. The password is one two three four five six. Let's click on login and we'll get an error. The password doesn't match, so I have to set prints at gmail.com. And now my password will be this is strong password, which is password itself, as you can see. Now if I click on login, yep, I'm logged in. And again, get this error that says send verification email. Did I just change the value of verified verified to false? Did I? Did I? Did I? Yeah, I did. So okay, let's do that too. I'll click simply click on send verification email. And I'll go there, here. I'll grab this URL. I'll copy this. I'll paste it here. And now I have a verified profile. Yep, looks pretty well. So yeah, that's pretty much it from my side in this video. It's been one hour since I'm recording this. Now I have to simply put this in my Premiere Pro. I will just remove a couple of portions where I actually stopped for a couple of minutes for drinking water. And then you will have a tutorial up and running on YouTube. Well, that's pretty much it from my side in this video. And we will talk more about coding Node.js. And basically, I'm going to talk a lot more about Node.js. And once the Flutter event is completed, we will talk a lot more about Flutter too. Till then, keep coding, keep loving, keep saving, and peace.